Okay. Would someone care to explain to me how it is that you go down to the local church house for fellowship and end up catching a hot one? Really? Really? I'll wait. And I'm like, come on through, cook it. I want to pull my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What? <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. I got something to say about this mess. I actually was in my travels and I ended up running across a story where here in Pennsylvania, this past Sunday, at the Keystone Fellowship Church, there's a 27-year-old named Robert Braxton who actually came into the church and was literally slain in the pew by 46-year-old Mark Storms. Really? Down at the church house. For real though, what the hell is really going on? He goes in the church. He sits in a seat. That seat is obviously reserved for someone, is what they actually wrote. Reserved for someone. First mistake. This is church. It's not a motherfucking concert. It's church. And I've seen the shit. I've seen people go in the church and, oh, well, that's so-and-so and so-and-so seat. That seat belongs to whoever's name is on the mortgage of the church. Sit your motherfucking ass down and get a Bible and get what it is you came in here for and quit your fucking playing. So that's number one. Shit that just could really be, you know, that shit that just ain't got to go on down at the goddamn church house. Moving on. He gets approached by this older gentleman who tells him that is so-and-so's seat and you need to move. Now you out of order. You need to get your ass on back over wherever it is that you supposed to be and do what you supposed to be doing and get out of my goddamn face. And the 27-year-old told him basically just that. He cussed his motherfucking ass out. They had that in there. And they literally had it written up as if he was the nuisance because I guess because he was cussing in the church. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get out of my goddamn face telling me about this is somebody's goddamn seat. When in a minute, all they're going to be doing in this motherfucker is begging. Moving on. So all this goes on. Then they have it written up. The usher and the pastor come and intervene and talk to the young gentleman. Not that old bastard, but the young gentleman. They talk to him to calm him down because I guess because he's using those bad words. Meanwhile, old head takes his ass wherever. I don't know if he went outside or whatever, but he left the scene of what was actually going on. And then he comes back with a gun out down at God's house in church house. You up in the sanctuary with a gun and telling him now that he need to get out. Now you're going to put him out of somebody else's church. Really? So the boy, 27-year-old, tells him, get the fuck on up out of my face. Get out of my face with the bullshit. And even stated that the gun was fake. He didn't believe it was a real gun. And old head is flashing a permit that they said he undoubtedly got offline.
So the little boy tells him, you know, he didn't warn him again. You run around with this gun, playing big time. Told him to get the fuck on out of his face. He's still talking. So the little boy cold cocks the fuck out of him. All he then shoots the little boy in the chest and in the arm. The little boy ends up dying shortly thereafter at the local hospital. For real, though? For real? All this before they even started singing and take it up for the building fund. Really? Really? And you think people go to church every Sunday? What? For what? Foolishness. Foolishness. This whole situation was a bunch of foolishness. Over a goddamn seat that don't belong to nobody. It belongs to the bank because nine times out of ten, the fucking church ain't even paid for. The church probably belongs to the goddamn bank. And you sap suckers is in there arguing over a goddamn seat. And I don't give a shit how anybody looks at it. That old motherfucker was out of order. You're out of order. You started up the whole goddamn feud with your old ass. And then you went so far as to kill someone else's child. Because that's what he was to you. He was a child. And then you came in there with this gun. Because you was trying to bully him. That's what you were doing. You were trying to bully him. And the mistake that the boy made was being young. And not believing. See, I say it all the time. Take people at their word. Stop thinking that you know shit. I talk to my mother about this all the time. When motherfuckers say shit to me, I take them at their word. I do. No matter what it is that they're saying, I'm listening. And I don't want to hear no shit about you. Uh, I, I was upset and I said, that's all right, bitch, because now I've already reacted to whatever it was you said when you was upset, bitch, because I'm taking you at your word. Because I don't want to be the motherfucker on the other end of no shit saying, I can't believe. Fuck that. I'm taking you on your word. Bitch, and if you threaten me, I'm going to react. So you better be ready when you go to threaten me because I'm taking you at your word. Okay? So, the mistake that our 27-year-old made was that you're thinking that he's waving a fake gun because it just made sense. Because who's really at church with a gun? Sunday morning, like, I understand why his mind was saying that, but you people got to stop underestimating folks. These people ain't got good sense. They don't have good sense. And it was also stated in an article I read that this guy, the 46-year-old, has done this before. This ain't his first time waving guns around. See, there's a whole little lesson that my grandmother had taught when we were younger, too. That uh, if you pull out a gun, you motherfucker, you better use it. You don't go waving guns around and shit like that unless you intend to use it. He obviously never really got that lesson, you know, because he's had several occasions where he's backed people down using guns. And in this, in, and in this instance... You tried to back the young guy down and he knocked your motherfucking socks off. And then you had to actually go through with whatever it was that you was going to go through with because you ain't got it all upstairs. And you shot that boy and you killed that boy. And they had the nerve to put him in. And there is a bail set. And I think it was like $250,000. There shouldn't even be a motherfucking bail set. What bail? For what? Where are you going, motherfucker? Because as far as I'm concerned, and I'm no lawyer, but it seems pretty motherfucking premeditated to me. If we argue and you walk away and you come back and you fucking shoot me, bitch, what'd you come back for? You went and got a gun and came back. That seems pretty premeditated to me. And I don't think it'd take no uh, six or seven years of college to figure that out. The fuck really goes on? 
They put it down though as voluntary manslaughter and reckless endangerment. Now I could go for the reckless endangerment because church is filled with old people and children. So, yeah, you did endanger all of the rest of the parishioners, you know, when you came in there waving that motherfucking gun. That was a charge all in itself. I don't give a shit if you did have a permit, because the thing is, you weren't in any danger. You were never in any danger until you got in that young man's face. That young man didn't even get violent until after you put that gun in his face. And you were dealing with the right young man because some of these other motherfuckers, they would have acted in self-defense and blew your motherfucking head off before you even got close to them. Soon as they knew you had a gun, they would have blown your motherfucking head off. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not young. I'm 44 and I'm one of those ones. If I would have seen you coming up on me with a gun, I'd have blown your motherfucking brains out. No questions asked. None. Ain't no more argument, motherfucker. Ain't no more argument. What am I use some words at a gunfight, bitch? So, lots of little things went on with that. It was a mess. That is a mess. I mean, that whole thing, It well, I guess you can see, it pretty much put me on my soapbox. It disturbed the fuck out of me. It's unnecessary. None of this even had to go down. But let me tell you something about the motherfucking Keystone Fellowship Church. You're not innocent either, because at the end of the day, some of the little bullshit that you have going on there from Sunday to Sunday with the reserving seats and all that old bullshit up there in the, in the, uh, the church house, you're somewhat at fault as well. And then you made a choice of who you was going to talk to and who you were going to calm down. And you obviously calmed down the wrong motherfucker because he ended up dead. Now, my thing is, Keystone Fellowship Church, I don't think the church needs to be handled any different as it would if it was on the opposite corner and it was a fucking local bar. The Keystone Fellowship Church should have a padlock on their doors and be listed as a motherfucking nuisance. And I'm done. I'm out.